In this video, I'm going to make this music box. It's a gift for someone whose birthday is next month, so I'm getting it ready ahead of time. Amen. Let me let me wind it up and play it a few seconds for you. Just a little bit of Beethoven there. So uh, stay tuned and we'll look at the pattern and the material I'm using and we'll uh, kind of see how it is to cut this out. It's not hard cutting. Uh, the biggest thing about it is this compound cut and, uh, and getting the um, hardware mounted. So stay tuned and we'll look at the patterns. Now right, here is the patterns and the material I'm going to use. I'll kind of explain the procedure here. Uh, this is the body of the box. I've stacked some wood to make uh, an inch and a quarter. So what I'll do is I'll cut that inside and then I'll leave the outside and glue a piece of quarter inch on the back and then cut the outside. That'll give me the body of the box. Now this is going to be the main lid. First we'll cut this out and then we'll glue this to another piece of quarter inch and cut the outside and then we'll put this in to cut the center hole that's where the uh, carousel will go through to the music box and this will be mounted on the little turntable which will wind the music box up and then spin as it's going it's the same procedure you will cut the inside glue it to another piece cut the outside and then the topper is this little swan which is a it's a piece of real light walnut, and uh, it's the most simple one to have for this pattern. There were other options, but I wasn't going to get too fancy with this. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be a compound cut. I'll clamp that between two pieces of wood, cut that side, and then tape it back together and cut the, the face portion of it. So anyway, that's the, the piece. i got to have one more piece of quarter inch goes behind this one, but i got that laying over here somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to have to drill holes here, here, and here, and then I'll be ready to start cutting. And got a compound cut and six or seven cuts here. And then I'll have to mount up the, the little music box. I haven't got that yet. It'll be here before I get through cutting all this, and we'll look at that before we put it in. Well, let me cut some holes, and we'll see about cutting it up. I'm going to start out with the lid. Uh, for this music box. First you've got to cut this inside, then I move, put that on another piece of a quarter inch and cut this outside and then put this back in to get the, the center of the hole. So right now I'm going to cut this internal part. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the smaller piece which will be the turntable. This will be the piece that sticks up out of the lid, which winds the music box and then rotates as it plays. I'll have a compound cut to mount on top of this, but I've got to cut this and then mount an underside to it like I do with the lid. And I've got to mark the center so we can get a hole right in the center of it. But we'll do that once I cut this out and then glue that on. And then we'll do just like the lid. We'll put that center piece back in to, to drill that hole and mark the spot. Now I'm back to the lid. I'm going to cut these outside lines. It should give me the part that goes over the body of the box. I'm also going to go back and put that piece in and get that center hole cut because the music box will mount on here and it'll have to have access for the key, the, the platform turntable to reach through to wind it. Now switch blades. I put a number seven in because we got a inch and a quarter thick piece of wood here. So I'll go into a number seven. I've got to do this the same way. Cut the inside and then glue this to another piece. 
So then I'll have all these first cuts made and be waiting for glue to set. It might get to go take me a nap. But for now, I'm going to cut this out and glue it together. I'll put this back in place. I got it stuck temporarily. Some with some stick glue, drill the hole through it, and I'm going to cut that hole right there. What I did, I just pulled the pattern, stuck it in there to mark that center point, and I'm going to use that to center this little turntable, which reaches through to the music box, screws onto it, and that's what you wind it up with, and it will spin in the opposite direction as it plays the music. But for now, I'm going to cut this right here. This is going to be the top, which will have a, a, a goose and a swan on it. And uh, I'll have to stain all this. Might try to make it look nice. But next step is to cut this outer part of this carousel. I'm going to cut the outside on this box wall pattern. I've got this uh, bottom piece glued on it, quarter inch piece of material, which will give us the bottom of the box and the body of the box all cut at one time. And it'll be just a matter of making the lid fit, getting the uh, turntable installed, and getting the work music piece in. It should be in today or tomorrow, I think. I'll be able to finish this up, put it together, and start finishing on it.
So there's the finished product. I'm fairly happy with it. I'm never perfectly happy with everything that I make, but uh, this is fairly nice, I think. It's, uh, I could have used a better wood, but I just used what I had, mostly poplar. Uh, the, uh, I didn't stain the, the swan. It's a real light walnut that I had. It almost looked like poplar. It smells like walnut and cuts like walnut, but it doesn't really look like walnut. Anyway, that's the finished product, and I uh, hope you liked it. <clears throat> if you do, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I've got a, a model airplane coming up in the next video that I'm going to make. A little Cessna, a Steve Good pattern. But anyway, I wanted to get this one finished for a birthday coming up, and it's going to be a gift. So we'll uh, leave this video with just a little music playing.